Cranberry Township is responsible for 117 miles of roadway. Um, that includes over 289 cul-de-sacs, and that's a big challenge uh, for one of our operations. PennDOT is responsible for around 24 miles uh, of roadway in the township. We try to get every road hit uh, you know, at least once during a major event. We try to make every road as safe as we can, um, but it's, um, it's certainly not to have every road painted black. Using the forecasting methods that we have in, our, in the weather station and the uh, software that we monitor, um, and just by visual observation, you know, we really do try to be out in front of the storm. Bob Howland, our streets manager, um, and I are constantly monitoring the radar, uh, constantly looking at weather conditions, um, and evaluating uh, the needs uh, as the days go on. We're constantly monitoring the radar that the golf course uses. It's a, it's a DTN radar. It's very accurate. We use, use those tools in order to try to plan out, you know, the employees' schedules. Every year we have a uh, pre-winter maintenance training session to where we bring them up into the training room rooms. We're constantly in a training mode. Every piece of equipment, almost every employee, uh, every management personnel um, is somehow related to snow removal. When it's needed, everybody is somehow able to be plugged into some role to help with snow removal. Every year, Cranberry Township takes their construction season right into snow removal season. We wrap up our construction jobs and we immediately start putting in the salt spreader. Cranberry Township has 16 vehicles that are available for snow removal at, at any time. We typically have 12 out at a time with 12 different operators and four vehicles would be a spare. But if we see an, ev an event coming up that's going to take require more than 24 hours of, of our activity, we have to take our 12 routes down to something less to spread the guys out over a 24 hour period. We could have two shifts running 12 hours with nine, nine operators on the road instead of 12. Uh, we bring crews out around 4 a.m. at times to be ahead of the school buses and ahead of the heavy commuter traffic. The township really has it, it its priorities to clear the roadways and to do that uh, roadways need to be clear of vehicles, they need to be clear of basketball hoops, and they need to be clear of you know, driveway snow. Residents who may, may have snow blowers or shovels may be contemplating putting that out into the roadway. The, the township has a snow and ice control plan, um, and that does not call for black roads all the time. Uh, we are um, providing limited service between the hours of 9 p.m. and 4 a.m. No community has the resources to make their roads black all the time. There has to be those instances where you identify priority routes. The township broken into 12 zones and there's 12 different operators. Inside of each zone there's priority roads that they know they need to hit first. Priority roads are typically ones with steep hills or sharp curves. We use rock salt here in Cranberry Township. All of our equipment is calibrated to 250 pounds per lane mile. The salt shed is a large structure. It can hold 6,500 tons. On average, Cranberry Township uses 4,500 tons of rock salt per year. Last year was an unusual year. We went through, I believe it was 6,450 tons of rock salt because of, because of the unusual amount of snow that we had last year. Rock salt over the last three years has gone the price of it has fluctuated dramatically, probably closer to you know, between $60 and $65 a ton right now uh, for a delivered ton of rock salt. If you see a plow truck traveling down the road, just because its plow is up in the air or its spreader is off doesn't mean that he's not doing his job. There's a good possibility that he might be out of material in the truck. He might not want to plow off the material that the other truck driver in that route might have just put down. If you're traveling behind a snow plow, we ask that you don't try to pass it. Slow down, be safe. And your vehicle being there uh, is going to be helping that you know, push that salt and activate that salt as it's coming off the back of that truck. But not to tailgate that truck, and not to honk. You know, the wor worst thing is to pass that, that vehicle on its, uh, when it's in motion. Our total budget for winter maintenance operations is over $300,000 a year uh, for winter operations. It's a big budget, it's a lot of responsibility that we have here, and um, we take it very seriously from the first snowflake that we see to the 
uh, signs that spring's coming around and, and potential uh, for ice up still. So we, we um, take it very seriously here.